Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the fifth episode of Kunoichi Tsubaki no Mune no Uchi. Uh, that's, uh, that's a show I'm watching. So last episode, we had Tsubaki get some big revelations about the situation with uh, the boys and how like, they're not some scary existence. They just don't want the Kunoichi just running off with them and eloping, you know, and all that. They, they want to avoid that, so they spread mis misinformation to, to, to combat that, basically. And in the end, Tsubaki did agree to go along with it for now. Uh, she also got a little bit of a like a food related benefit on top of that. Got some uh, you know respect and admiration from some people because of that. But we also had uh, Mo Mokuren, was that her name? Uh, something like that. You know, she was a focus of like the second half. You know, a new new Kanoichi to learn learn a little bit about, and she was quite a quite a nice person, very you know gentle, relaxed, helpful, relied upon the, the person. So yeah, we're here for episode five. So let's jump on in and see see what our Kanoichi are up to. Three, two, one, go. I almost messed that up, but we're good. Also, what are we up to, Asago? Yeah, I did pick up on that. <laughs> I mean, she's not a complex character. I, I... And of course, uh, never mind. <laughs> you tell her. I guess that's a decent point, but can't just take all the food. And they get along as well as always. What? Oh, Chuck. Okay. Do we have a mystery on our hands? Something we have to investigate? <laughs> wow, she's. She went at 180. She was so happy a sec five seconds ago. Oh, that sounds like our culprit. I guess it's possible. <laughs> wow. What is this? Team horse. Hungry as a horse. <laughs> yeah, I knew she wouldn't be able to keep her composure. <laughs> That's clearly hers. Don't you see the A? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we know who we're focusing on. Or at least who she's focusing on. I do, I do wish I could remember all the names of the characters in this show, but there's just so many of them. And they give us new characters to focus on each episode. I can watch ninjas do cool ninja things all day. All the whooshing around and cutting and then spinning and stabbing and throwing. But there's something more entertaining to watch than like a well animated cool like ninja battle. Because you can do so much with it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's still upset. The yeah, need to not calm her down. A fight over some fruits. <laughs> I... <laughs> I... Did we even confirm that's a thing? Maybe for you. You're not the one losing something. Yeah, did you see all the letters? Oh. <laughs> She is so upset. Oh, Neody, I think I've heard of that flower. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't think you can get through. Uh, I don't think we're gonna give up these that easily, though.
Yeah, you should respect the rule. They're just picking a fight. I mean, ah, oh, it's clearly Asagao. It's a universal rule. You write your name on something, it's yours. You can't write your full name on it. It's a fairly small object. Uh, we're not giving up that easily. No? <laughs> they are quite clingy with each other, I do approve, but... I mean, she is cute, but it's not like she's the cutest girl in the whole group. In the whole, you know, overall... Organization. Okay, it sounds like there's a one getting kind of heated. That's, that's, that's pretty great. <laughs> Is that what triggered you? Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> that, those are fighting words for her. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Tell her. That's your opinion. <laughs> what I think the fight about his girlfriend is cuter. <laughs> uh, it's funny because it's talking about an argument about, about food. How exactly? <laughs> what an idea for an episode. <laughs> Well, that was something. It's a good question. Okay. Somebody showed up. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Shikamaru from Naruto. It's, it reminds me of that technique. It's basically the same thing. Okay. It's just basically, yeah. Uh, this does not seem fair. Uh, what, 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 what are we doing? Uh, this seems like cheating. Well, that's the closest thing to a kiss we've gotten so far in the show. Uh, yeah, this really seems like cheating to me. Hinagiku's a Hinagiku's a cheater. Uh, how do we deal with this? Well, yeah, not when you cheat. Uh, she is so full of herself. Oh, okay, she's breaking on her jutsu. Uh, do those kind of votes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Shadow Clone Jutsu. Shadow, Shadow Clone Jutsu. Tell her. <laughs> you can cheat, you can cheat. They, they are Tsubaki. <laughs> this episode has been so ridiculous so far, and I, I love it. <laughs> uh, yeah, she is really cute herself, quite clearly. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> oh no. Well, we tried. <laughs> uh. Well, now when she's getting so, you know, mentally frazzled. <laughs> yeah, not everyone is, uh, he is you, Hina, Hinagiku. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like your, looks like your cuteness is getting through to her. <laughs> uh, that's, that's great. Did she, though?
Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it. <laughs> and this girl thought she was cuter than Tsubaki. <laughs> oh, I'm giving the food back. Wow. <laughs> well, I guess her day was kind of ruined. <laughs> Uh, I mean, there's no one to blame but herself, but, you know. <laughs> uh, how do you, how do you deal with the situation? Just take it all. <laughs> uh, she was so confident in herself being the cutest, but she's had that reality shattered around her. <laughs> uh... That's, uh, that was a great way to resolve this. <laughs> uh, my eyes are watering. <laughs> well, this episode has already been a success in my, in my book. <clears throat> great, great episode. <laughs> and since I knew all along <clears throat> who the true cutest was. I mean, we got the food back. That's all that really matters. Inten independence and indulgence. Okay. Rubbing her feet. <laughs> so I've heard. Okay, we're Team Ox. Okay. <laughs> Are you hungry? <laughs> This is a big problem. <laughs> okay. Because I would say Adios has one of the cutest girls. But it's hard to really choose, like, a number one. Because there's a lot of great character designs in this show. Like I want like a I almost want like a gacha game of this. That's yeah, that's how great I love how much I love the designs. <laughs> that's she own. <clears throat> she does look it. <laughs> Just keep feeding Aji Sai. It's like their group's, you know, pet mascot character. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was kind of picking up on that. <laughs> I I don't see the problem. <laughs> I really do enjoy this show. <laughs> yeah, they definitely do, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> do your best. <laughs> and you wonder why people feel the need, need to protect you. Uh, just watching you attempt to climb a tree is, uh, That really wasn't the point. Uh, here's a great patty look, though. <laughs> uh, I get it, though. You don't want to become a, you know, dumb ending again. But... <laughs> well, stop being so cute and child-looking. <laughs> It is laugh at her. <laughs> oh, this episode's killing me. <clears throat> Just marches off in a huff. Uh, okay. Uh.
<laughs> you gotta prove yourself to them somehow. Just don't hurt yourself. I think I need some more water. Yeah, now actually the protagonist group has to find her. <coughs> yeah, usually she's got her servants with her. I want to join your team. Oh. Okay. I guess that's one way to prove yourself. <laughs> I don't think Sazanka approves. I mean, I'm sure she'll agree if she has no reason not to. <laughs> wow, throw in the shade. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't believe how attached I've gotten to this show and its characters in just a few episodes. Like, I, I'm already getting sad that it's going to end at some point. Okay. I mean, I'm more than happy to get a cool ninja fight. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, wow. Hi, hi. <laughs> okay. She definitely made the first move. That really looked painful. Uh, it looked really cool. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this? Oh, God. Uh, another personal kit. <laughs> oh, kid. <laughs> well, she's not doing well. <laughs> she sure told you. I'm waiting for her teammate to show up and help any second now. Yeah. Oh no, she's actually... Wow, she's, she's doing it. Yeah, your team Ox got to be all about that strength. Oops. <laughs> yeah, just do that. <laughs> so maybe these lessons actually did stick. <laughs> Oh, yeah, just, oh, damn. That actually did, it did look like it had some real power behind it. That probably did not hurt. Okay. Well, ninjas get a ninja, I guess. And it was almost impressive. Uh, well. Well, it was still kind of impressive. It just didn't quite work out. Uh Even though this is, you know, a duel, it does kind of almost look like bowling just because of one sided it is. <laughs> okay, I mean, we admit it. <laughs> we got we reduced the hair pulling. <laughs> I know, right? These two. This is quite the ninja duel we have here. Hello, kitty cat. <laughs> and well, the hourglass is em empty. <laughs> Are you all tuckered out now? <laughs> I 
Oh, those feet they need to be they need to be wiped down again. I'd say you did pretty well. I mean, you you did your best. Just don't cry. Uh, I was waiting for them to show up, finally. So they actually were able to at least watch the fight then. <laughs> well, part of the fight. Yeah, that's that's quite ballsy. Savaki is one of the one of the best, if not the best. <laughs> uh huh. See, I knew it. I knew it'd work out. <laughs> Just a little. That's a god with our food. <laughs> Alright, good for you. Or so I thought. I mean, I knew nothing would, nothing big would change right away. <laughs> but you know, as long as they have a little bit more respect for you, that's that's good. <laughs> you can be independent, so they pamper a little bit. I mean, yeah, there, there, there you go. I, I definitely get that. <laughs> so it was kind of all based on a misunderstanding. Not necessarily because they think she needs it, but because she's cute and they want to do it, you know? <laughs> Can I get a reward, Nesama? <laughs> I do see. <laughs> and then it's over. Why does it gotta be over? This is my favorite episode so far. Uh. This show really just like hits all the right buttons for me. Like it's not often that I call a show perfect, but like as far as you know what this show has, what it has to offer me, like it's it's got like, infinite potential to be my ideal favorite kind of show. At the very least, if it, like, focused less on the boy aspect, you know? Because obviously I don't really care much about that, but as far as the actual interactions among the Kanoichi themselves, it's like 10 out of 10 amazing stuff that I, I can't get enough of. <laughs> yeah, we got Adyasai and, uh, she owned whichever one she was. I don't remember which was which. <laughs> Even got some ear cleaning. Because of course we do. I do quite like Team Ox. And yeah, the little focus episodes where we get to see, you know, the different teams and their dynamic with each other. Because every team really does feel unique, like, not like an NPC sort of a background team, but, like, any one of these teams you can, like, follow as the protagonist team, and it'd pro probably be fine. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> uh, do you want, to? Uh, yeah, do you want Neisama to do your hair? <laughs> wow, we really did it. <laughs> Just gave her twin tails. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Are we just going to keep doing this? <laughs> oh, no, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, the transfer student shy around strangers. That sounds like a lot of fun in, in and of itself. Can Kosei confirm for next episode? Okay. Um... <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. That was the fifth, 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 fifth episode of Tsubaki Kunoichi Mune Uchi No No. I mix up the words, but that that is the title. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I don't even. 
I don't even know what's what to even say anymore. This this episode really did a lot for me. I I mean I uh, I just kind of want to sit here quietly and bask in the experience I just had. But yeah, we Asagawa was kind of a focus of the the first scene. She she has her food, you know. Asagawa was not exactly a deep character. She likes food. That that more or less sums her up. It's, you know, and she also has a nice little like rivalry headbutting sort of thing with uh, Sanzaka, right? <clears throat> that pretty much is the extent of her personality. But we all we did some look across Team Horse, which was like their food thieves. They took her food. They have no respect for the idea of you write your letter on the the thing and the thing is yours. They don't believe in it. They don't respect it one little bit. But yeah, Hina Hina Giku is like self proclaimed cutest girl and uh, amongst all of them, right? And we have the other girl whose name I do not remember that constantly like fans that ego, you know, reminds her how cute she is and all that, right? And the other one was uh, what was the other one's name? I want to say Oni Yuri, Oni Yuri, maybe, but uh, but yeah, we stumbled like we stumbled upon them, and um, also in the opening, yeah, the the girl that does the really over the top like you know I'm really cute aren't I sort of look that is yeah that is her that that, that shot makes sense now and of course we have the girl in the background and be like yes you are as cute as you think you are so you know at least now I know who those two are right in the opening near the end near the end of the opening right. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, Oni Yuri was the other girl, the, like, tough, you know, uh, you know, looking girl. Right. But, uh, yeah, basically we got a bit of a fight going here. <laughs> Onigaku, Oniku, whatever her name is, uh, da, I'm messing up her name. Uh, something like that. H Hinagiku, that's what it is. Hinagiku, Hinagiku. Okay, so yeah, Hinagu Hin Hinagiku, self-proclaimed cutest girl, you know, she's very adamant about that. <laughs> And Sanzaka took issue with that because clearly Neosama, uh, Tsubaki is a real cutest girl in the Akane class, right? But, um, so naturally we had a fight over it. We had a little bit of a basically majority vote. When, when they first brought that up, I mean, even before they brought it up, I was, I was kind of thinking we would do like this big, you know, beauty pageant sort of thing where we get all the Kanoichi together, like write down votes and on, you know, Put them in a box and count them and all that. I thought it would be like a bigger, fancier thing, but apparently it was only amongst the people already there. You know, much more of a quick, dirty sort of thing, right? And we already had Hinagiku cheated by like using some kind of seducing jutsu on Asagawa and Sanzaka, right? So, you know, the ones I would obviously vote for Tabaki. <clears throat> so already wasting no time cheating, but we also had you know some shadow jutsu brought out by Oniyuri. And we then we had the Shadow Clone Jutsu, you know, by uh, Tsubaki, you know, some high-level Jutsu that she can use, but she couldn't quite <laughs> maintain it long enough because, unlike Hinagiku, she's not really as, like, you know, self-assured, like, what's the, what's the best word for it? Like, um, f full of yourself. Like, she, she can't just, like, proudly declare her own cuteness the same way that uh, Hinagiku can, right? So... The attempting to do so put too much of a strain on her mentally, and they did kind of like poof away. But on the bright side, that embarrassment really did a good job of like really bringing out her her cuteness and making it clear, even to Hinagiku, just how cute she is. And she was was forced to realize that she that she, she that Chibaki is the cutest, right? So she kind of like started to get into wallowing, you know, pity, self pity, kind of depressed mode, and just aggressively threw all her food at them and ran away. I couldn't. I wasn't sure how this would be resolved. I mean, I figured Tabaki would win somehow, but I couldn't ima imagine it would be in such a wonderful, cute, funny, amazing way. Like, I couldn't imagine a better way to have that overall conflict to dealt with. So, also just a visual of seeing like six Tabakis all blushing and fidgety. <laughs> that 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 alone was great. So, so yeah, Nesama won. <laughs> uh, good good stuff. <laughs> but yeah, that, that was a ten out of ten scene. But. The show was not done yet because we got, we got to check out Team Horse, but next it was Team Ox, right? Where we have Shion, Ajisai, and uh, what was the other name? I assume they say it around here. Yeah, here it is, yeah, Su Su Suzanon, right? It was the other one. So, yeah, <laughs> basically the, the plot plot of this was Ajisai gets babied a lot, you know? Uh, you know, they kind of like do everything for her and whatnot, and she, Ajisai kind of took this as looking down on her, like, thinking she can't do things herself. Basically, the idea that they're doing this because they feel they need to, right? But by the end of the episode, they did kind of clarify that it wasn't really because they feel like she needs it, but because she's cute and she's kind of, like, exudes that aura that makes you want to do that, you know? 
Uh, so, so they do, right? It wasn't because they thought she was like a literal baby that baby that can't tie her own shoelaces, you know? They just they want to do it, right? Because she's that type of girl. But seeing her being just like so fighting against it, like she was insanely cute throughout the whole episode, which is funny because the cuteness was such a big factor in the first first scene, the first half. The fact that it still managed to be pretty relevant even in the second half was good because she was very cute throughout all this stuff, like pushing herself so hard to climb a tree and the pouty faces and just, we got so much good Aji Sai cuteness in the scene. <laughs> like, I just, just the sheer amount of amazing facial expressions we got from her was a thing to behold. Like, I kind of wanted to just, like, screenshot them all. But, uh, yeah. She did, she did run into a team dog after a while. And she decided to challenge Tsubaki to a duel to show how independent and capable, capable she is. But Tsuzanka did not think she was worthy of such a thing and, like, picks a fight with her herself. We actually had a scene where Ajusai, um, like, sit up off the thing, right? I didn't I didn't say anything during the scene. I almost did. But well, as I was watching that, the first thing I thought she was doing was, like, you know, like smacking her butt as, like, kind of a taunting thing, right? Because that's sort of that's kind of a Japanese thing. I mean, I'm currently playing a game called Ransom Nine, and a character like a bulky tank character that's meant to take damage. You have a t actual you know move you can click on that's like a taunt. You know, draws aggro to him, and that that's what he does. He smacks his ass to to get them to attack him. So it's kind of what I thought she was doing here for like a second, but then obviously you know she was clearly just wiping the dirt off of her, which makes more sense. It, it's a little bit less entertaining though. But uh, since I missed my chance to say it during the episode, I, I kind of wanted to say it here, but. I did love seeing these two butt heads. I mean, Sazanka is just such a, like, aggressive, antagonistic character. I mean, usually when it comes to, you know, Neosama, she's very defensive, but I do like how she'll just, like, pick a fight with anyone. <laughs> like, she's just so that type of character, right? It doesn't really matter who it is, how friendly they look or whatever. But she she, she manages to just get into these conflicts with people. It's, it's great. But they have their ninja duel, and Sazanka, we got that. I don't think we really have seen too much of like her skill as a Kunoichi. I know we had the one battle in a previous episode where she was like teaming up with us Asagao against the the uh team snake duo, right? Remember that. But this was like a like a one on one, you know, one of you one me bro sort of sort of thing. And she yeah, is quite capable, quite fast and quite she knows she can use her substitution jutsu at the right time. She can kick. I mean we got that like bam up against the arm. Like that would that would hurt. I mean we saw the redness that quite quite clearly hurt. And she's just being all like, you got a century to go before you reach Neosama's level. And just obviously, like, like the shark teeth, you know, add a lot to it as well. But we almost got some cool stuff from Achisai, though. Like, we had the classic, you know, flashback of a teaching session. It, like, as you're doing the cool move, you know, kind of a shonen battle anime sort of thing, I would say. But it didn't quite work out. Yeah, but uh, it was still, it was still, it was still cool, you know. Showcases that she does have some ninja skill in there, right, underneath all the babiness, and it looked great too. Like we had like a like a wind sort of after after shock sort of thing as we blew Sazanka away. Like yeah, it looked really good. I mean, we had like kind of like a bending of Sazanka's body a little bit. Like it looked like it could do some real damage, but it you know it, it wasn't her. But uh, aside from that, it was all great. But she ended up all tied up and stuff. But eventually it just kind of escalated into hair pulling. I just, I love the show. I really can't put into words how much I loved everything. Everything I got in this episode. Like a lot of shows, there'll be some parts that are slower than others, that are less interesting than others. But uh, no, this was start to finish 100% of the time. Thoroughly entertaining. Thoroughly everything I would want in this kind of show just given to me. I, I felt spoiled. Like I feel like I, I feel like I was the one being spoiled throughout this episode. Just given everything I want. And just wanted, but by the end of it, I just wanted more. Like I can't live without it. Like if anything, I'm the real, I'm the real Achisai in this, in this overall conflict. But yeah, we did have, we did have the two teammates show up, and you know, it seemed like a pretty happy ending for the most part, you know. But uh, the, the spoiling did continue because she is still cute. That has not changed. So, and considering that is the main fuel, the main reason for the spoiling, uh, nothing, <laughs> nothing changes. But. But also we have Sazanka wanting to, uh, Tsubaki to feed her. We did not get to see that, unfortunately. The episode ended too soon, but I'll I'll assume it happened off screen. And we had, of course, the the, the, the custom media we always have for the the new team we get, including with some ear cleaning. And then we have one final scene, the the stinger with like some hairstyle changing, making it very clear that she is essentially the mascot character of the team. You know, <laughs> I mean. But <clears throat> that's what Sanzanka getting jealous, wanting to have her hair done too. So then we have the two of them standing, standing next to each other, all smiles and blushing and looking cute with 
you know, everyone around them and <laughs> admiring them. And we have freaking <laughs> Hina Giku watching this whole thing. <laughs> because we have Hina Giku with a, like a dead eyes look at her face. While we have the other girl whose name I still don't remember watching, you know, being like, this, this is not good. This is not good. What do I do? And uh, yeah, at first I thought this was going to be a case where she has her hair changed as well. But, uh, but no, she was just, she was just suppressed again. Because <laughs> they're over there looking all cute, getting all out the admiration, and, <laughs> and she wasn't, you know. And next episode is, uh, trans Transfer Student, right? So do we literally get a new character? I, I assume that's what that means, rather than there just being a Transfer Student in the background we just haven't really noticed much before. I assume we're literally going to get a new character, and if that's the case, I would, that, that, that could be a lot of fun. You know, having someone be just, like, introduced to everyone else. I wonder how many teams we have left. I mean, I'm actually not sure how many teams there are. We've, we've gotten some Team Snake, Dog, Monkey, Ox. Uh, what else is there? Like, I'm not sure. Like, uh, is there, like, a wiki of the show I can look at? But, uh, but, yeah, I really do feel like I'm getting to know the overall Iconic class at this point. I do really appreciate how they're fleshing out all of the... All the teams, all the characters, it feels so alive. Like, I feel like I've said that more, like, several times, but, like, I keep feeling it more and more as we keep getting these episodes, these team focus episodes, the custom EDs to match them. It's really just a masterpiece of a show that I don't understand why it's not more popular. I couldn't really ask for something better than what I got in this episode. But, just all the Hina Giku stuff, all the smugness, all the. Just, yeah. Anyway, I, I could talk about the show all day, but I would just repeat myself a lot, so I'm going to end it off here. <clears throat> now, this has been the, the fifth episode. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to it, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.